Yo, what's up guys? It's Noah here. Uh, and in today's video, gonna be talking through a couple player props I like on prize picks for today's MLB slate on Tuesday, uh, June the 11th. We got a full slate of MLB games today for Taco Tuesday. We do already have a taco posted on prize picks. It just got posted literally as I started recording this video. Uh, Tristan McKenzie, his strikeout prop is discounted down to 3.5. So this is a discounted play prize picks is giving you for today they usually post three tacos every tuesday um, if you play on prize picks you kind of already know this but for those of you that are new to prize picks you can sign up you can use promo code noah and you'll get your first deposit matched up to a hundred dollars and take advantage of these you know discounts every tuesday when prize picks runs them uh, this discount will go away at 3 30 eastern time and then they'll post a new discount and then they'll usually post a, another discount later in the night so usually three three discounts every tuesday on prize picks but we're going to talk through some props I like for this MLB slate. Got two props we're going to share in this video. And as always, we're going to talk through these two plays and you know share why I like them. Now, before we do get started, guys, make sure you hit that like button down below. Hit that subscribe button if you have not yet. And again, if you don't have an account on Prize Picks yet, you can use that promo code NOLA to get your first deposit matched up to $100. And also, we do have a partnership with Sleeper. If you guys do want to check out Sleeper, you can do so linked down below in the description. Or again, just use that promo code NOLA over on Sleeper to get your first deposit matched up to $100. And if you don't know what Sleeper is, they are a DFS pick'em app, similar to Prize Picks, where you're picking more or less on player projections. You bid out your entry. You can make up to an A-pick entry on Sleeper. You can win up to 100x your money. And just like Prize Picks, Sleeper also does discounts throughout the week. They'll do promotions. They'll sometimes give out free squares. They do give out free squares to all new users. So if you don't have an account on Sleeper, when you sign up, make an account, use that code NOLA, you'll get a free square added to your account that you can use towards any entry for any sport you like. Um, even if the free square is for MLB or NBA or for whatever sport, you don't have to use the free square with you know, other picks from that sport. You can you know, mix and match on Sleeper. So if you guys do want to check them out, again, sign up, use that promo code NOLA, and you'll get your first deposit matched up to $100. But let's go ahead and talk through this slate for Tuesday, guys, and what I'm liking um, didn't make a video for Monday, just decided to take Monday off. It was a smaller slate Monday. Um, felt like if there was going to be a day for me to not make a video, that would probably be it. But I should have videos up the rest of this week. I'll definitely have an NBA video up for Game 3 of the Finals, which is tomorrow on Wednesday. That video will probably get posted later tonight, on Tuesday night, so be looking out for that. Um, but let's talk through what I'm liking for this big Tuesday slate. And the first prop we're going to take a look at that I'm liking is a pitcher fantasy score. And I'm looking at Jesus Lazardo for 26 and a half pitcher fantasy score. And I like the over here, more than 26 and a half pitcher fantasy score for Jesus Lazardo. So if you have been following me since the beginning of the MLB season, you know that I took an over on Lazardo last time he pitched, and he got absolutely fucking rocked. Had negative nine fantasy points, gave up like eight earned runs. And those you know type of starts can happen in baseball. You know, pitchers can get rocked in the outing. It's a very you know, there's a lot of variance with baseball. Pitchers can be pitching really well. Like, as you can see, Lazardo, you have three straights, really good starts, and then you know, had a bad start against the Padres. Then he got absolutely rocked against Tampa Bay. Well, now he gets a matchup against the Mets, which on paper is not the easiest matchup. The Mets this season against left-handed pitching have been pretty solid. If you look at their numbers versus lefties overall, in terms of, like, average, I mean, they haven't been, like, the, the most dangerous offense, but they've still been, you know, towards the top of the league in most categories, like in, av in terms of average versus lefties this season, the Mets rank eighth. In terms of on-base percentage, they rank fifth. In terms of slugging, they rank sixth. So they do have good offensive numbers against lefties, but this is more so, you know, we're banking on the talent from Lazardo here. Lazardo is a really good strikeout pitcher who has good strikeout stuff, and this season, his strikeout rate has been down a little bit. It's down to 22.5%. Last season, Lazardo had a 28% strikeout rate. The season before that, he had a 30% strikeout rate. His strikeout rate is down this season, but if you look at his chase rate, if you look at his whiff rate, he is still getting a lot of chases. Like He's still getting batters to chase his pitches outside the strike zone. He's still getting a ton of, whiff, uh, a ton of whiffs, which means he's basically just getting batters to swing and miss. He has a whiff rate over 30%, which is 84th percentile. That's way above league average. So, you know, if we're betting on Lazardo to have kind of some better strikeout numbers moving forward, that's probably going to mean better fantasy score numbers as well. And I was debating between taking his over pitcher fantasy score or his over strikeouts because I do also kind of like more than five strikeouts here for Lazardo. 
But I feel like if he goes over that line, like if he gets five or six strikeouts, he's pretty likely to finish with 27 fantasy score. If you look at his game log this season, in the games where he's had you know at least five strikeouts, he's gone over this line in four out of five. However, there was one game where he only got four strikeouts against Milwaukee, but he finished with 46 fantasy score. So like, there's definitely out. You know, there's definitely scenarios where he only gets four strikeouts but has you know over 27 fantasy score. And there's also scenarios where he you know gets six or seven strikeouts but doesn't go over fantasy score because he'll, he'll give up some runs. Now, if you look at his earned runs allowed, his earned runs allowed prop is set at one and a half. Now it is juiced towards the under. But the books are not expecting a lot of runs here for Lazardo On Pinnacle, his earned runs prop is set at 2.5, and, and it's pretty heavily juiced towards the under, minus 141. So the books are only expecting Lazardo to give up about two runs here. If he gives up two runs, if he pitches close to six innings with five strikeouts, he should have a pretty good chance of going over this fantasy score line. And if Lazardo can go six innings and potentially get a quality start, then he should have a really good chance of going over this fancy score line. If you look at Lazardo's pitching outs, he has been pitching deeper into games lately. Now, obviously, in his last start against Tampa Bay, only went you know four innings because he got shelled. He gave up eight runs. He wasn't going to pitch deep into the game, you know, giving up that many runs. But the prior starts, you know, he went six innings against San Diego. He went like almost eight innings against Milwaukee. He went six innings against the Mets. It is worth noting that Lazardo has already faced the Mets once this season, and he had his best start of the season, 49 fantasy score. Uh, six shutout innings, had seven strikeouts. So Lazardo has already faced this Mets team once this season, pitched really well against them. I think this line of 26.5 is a bit low on Lazardo. I think I'd be okay playing this line up to like 27.5, maybe even 28.5. I know the Mets on paper have been good offensively against left-handed pitching this season, but there's still some strikeouts in this lineup. If you look at the Mets over the last 30 days at home, they do have a 20.5% K rate, which is which does rank 14th. So, you know, they've kind of been a middle-of-the-pack team in terms of strikeout rate at home. They have been striking out a little bit more at home lately. Uh, you know, even though Lazardo's not pitching at home where he has typically pitched well, even though he's going to be pitching, you know, at the Mets stadium, that's still a relatively pitcher-friendly ballpark. The Mets ballpark has usually always played more pitcher-friendly. So, I like this as kind of a bounce-back spot for Lazardo. I know he really struggled in his last start against Tampa Bay, but you can't expect him to go out there and give up eight runs again. You know, more times than not, Lazardo gives up maybe two, three, maybe four runs if he has a bad outing. But more times than not, you know, he's given up like three runs or less. If he can give up three runs or less, if he can go six innings, get us a quality start, I like our chances of getting you know, more than 26 and a half fancy score from Lazardo here. So that's the first prop I like for tonight. But I don't even if you can't take fancy score, I also do like more than five strikeouts for Lazardo. I don't even mind taking him for over or for more than 17 pitching outs. I think that's a decent prop as well. Right now on Pinnacle, uh, Lazardo's pitching outs prop is actually set at 17 and a half, and it's slightly juiced towards the over. So I think that, you know, this prop provides you a little bit of value. I wouldn't be surprised if you do see this prop get bumped up to 17 and a half. The strikeout prop on Pinnacle right now is his strikeout prop is set at four and a half, but it's minus 200 towards the over. So heavy, heavy juice on the over four and a half strikeouts for Lazardo. You obviously, you know, you don't get it at four and a half on prize picks, but you can take it at five. There's a little bit of push potential there, but if Lazardo can get six Ks, you can win that pick. Like I said earlier, though, if Lazardo gets six Ks, I think he's got a pretty good chance at going over fancy score too. So that's the prop I like most for Lazardo today. You know, going back to my boy Lazardo, hopefully he doesn't, you know, get shelled like he did last time. But that's the first prop I like for tonight. And then the other prop that I like is a strikeout prop. And we're going to talk about Jordan Hicks, and we're going to take him for less than four and a half strikeouts. And let's talk through this prop on Hicks and why I like this one. So you look at Jordan Hicks's numbers lately, he has gone under this line in three out of his last five games. He did have some big strikeout outings against the Mets, against Arizona, which you know on paper, those are not the best strikeout matchups. This season against right-handed pitching, Arizona has a pretty low K rate. I think they're like bottom, they're, yeah, they're towards the bottom of the league. They're 17th. The Mets are 20th in terms of K rate versus right-handed pitching this season. So, you know, Hicks did have some big strikeout games in those matchups. But if you look pr before that, you know, only four Ks against the Yankees, only one K against the Rockies, you would expect him to, you know, have more Ks against the Rockies. I think that game was in Coors Field. Um, it might have been. I honestly can't remember. Let's see. Yeah, that game was in Coors Field. So maybe, you know, that's why Hicks didn't get as many Ks there. And then he had four Ks against the Dodgers. But so far this season, Jordan Hicks has not shown a ton of strikeout upside. If you look at his K rate, he has just a 21.1% strikeout rate this season, which is below league average. 
and he's not really getting a ton of chases. He's not really getting a ton of swings and misses. His whip percentage ranks 40th percentile. His chase percentage ranks 34th percentile. So his strikeout rate, whiff rate, and chase rate are all slightly below league average. So this is already not like the greatest strikeout pitcher. And now he has a brutal matchup here against the Astros, who are a team that doesn't really strike out much at all. So far this season, the Astros have the third lowest strikeout rate versus right-handed pitching. So this is not the easiest matchup for Jordan Hicks from a strikeout perspective. And he's already a pitcher that doesn't really have a ton of strikeout upside. At least he hasn't shown a ton of strikeout upside this season. And if you look at Pinnacle right now, they have this prop heavily juiced toward the under. Uh, Jordan Hicks is favored, minus 152 on Pinnacle to go under four and a half strikeouts. So I like this under as our second prop for today. Um, again, I know, you know Hicks has had some games this season. Like if you look at his game log, he's had some games where he's racked up strikeouts. He had nine Ks against Pittsburgh. He had eight against the Mets, seven against Arizona. Then he had six against the Padres, five against Colorado, five. Like most of his starts this season, I, I want to say about half of his starts, he's gone over this line. But a lot of those starts, you know, kind of were some good matchups like Miami, Colorado, um, the you know, Pirates, they strike out a lot. Well, if you look at some of the starts where he's faced low strikeout teams, the Yankees, only 4Ks. The Dodgers, only 4Ks. Um, the Phillies, only 3Ks. Washington, only 2Ks. Like, he's he's not been the greatest strikeout pitcher this season, and this is probably one of, if not the toughest matchup for strikeouts. The Astros have historically been a very low strikeout team, and that's been the case you know, once again this season. So I like this under as our second prop for tonight. And this is what we're going to be rolling with, guys, for our two plays for Tuesday. It's a big slate tonight. Uh, we do have a taco as well. You can play that with these picks if you want to. The Tristan McKenzie discount that is available on Prize Picks right now. Take that if you want to. But these will be our two plays for today. Jesus Lazardo, more than 26.5 fantasy score. And Jordan Hicks, less than 4.5 strikeouts. So let's hit both these plays tonight, guys. Let's make some money. I do always appreciate you guys watching these prospects videos, make sure you hit that like button down below. If you guys did enjoy, hit that subscribe button if you have not yet. And again, if you don't have an account on prospects, use that promo code NOLA. When you do sign up for prospects, you'll get your first deposit matched up to $100. But good luck tonight, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, we will see you in the next video. Peace.